Hey, welcome back to my series on White Pony. This video is about Knife Party. Okay, next is Knife Party, which is such an incredible song. This is the one that for the longest time I was confused about the bridge or that section where that singer comes in. And maybe Kevin, it was you that helped me see that it was this woman. I thought it sounded like a voice. I actually thought it might be Chino. And I was like, can maybe he can just do this kind of weird vocal styling. It just sounds different, but the his timbre, it sounded kind of like Chino's timbre. And then I thought when it got really high and started like screaming that it became a guitar and that they had somehow seamlessly taken Chino's vocals and then um, buttressed it with a guitar part and made them sound like they seamlessly turned into each other and then turned back again into vocals. And I thought that was so cool. And then I realized, oh, it's just this woman and she's just like going crazy. <laughs>
Oh my god, that song is so good. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. So our, the first chord progression, sus chord, going to another, to a different, a sus chord to a sus chord. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's very sus. All right, let's see what key this is in. A nine. G? Yes. All right, G minor. So instead of playing, the, this is a flat six chord at first, but instead of playing it like, like a major chord in its natural state, they play it as a. Is that how they're voicing it? There's a lot going on there actually, hang on. I don't know exactly how they're voicing it, but that chord. And then going up to the G sus. Uh, but then... So the, the reason those chords are called sus chords is not because they're suspicious. It's because they're considered to have a note in them that is suspended either above or below, which sounds weird. I don't kind of get like a note being suspended below. That sort of doesn't track, but anyway suspended above or below the third. There are sus two chords and sus four chords. And sus two sounds like this. Um, my bad. And a sus four chord would sound like, I could either do it like this, or like, I'll do it up there. So sus two, sus four. It's creating tension, which is what it does so, so well and then releasing it. So this note is the tense note, that's a suspended note, and then it goes to the chord tone, the third of the chord, the minor third of it. So that moment, I know it's small detail, but it matters. Without it, it would sound like this, and it would still sound really great. Um, me strumming <laughs> but how great is it to have the uh, and I think they even pull it back so they might go let's see yeah they do so they give you the release and then pull it back to the tension. This suspended tense note is the note that Chino keeps singing over and over again, like a lot. So that makes sense. That's beautiful. This is a flat six to one progression. In fact, remembering this was in my flat six video, one of my flat six videos. And the melody is amazing. So sharp and should grow come see this is what's referred to as a sharp 11 and you can hear this tritone so that's what he's singing So Abe's going, kick, kick, snare, snare, kick, kick, snare, kick, snare. So he's really playing with the harmonic rhythm of the guitars. See, he's very in tune with the the rhythm, the overall rhythm of the song, and he's playing around with it while still giving us the beat. And that fill is gorgeous. Love this break. She knows. I 
all the way says bones. Love his delivery here. See inside. It's a little icy, very trebly sounding, almost crackly. Inside my bones. He always has this break breaking in his voice happening that I love. It's often at the end of phrases, the way like a jazz singer would would like release their notes. Knife. I don't know how to do it. I am not a vocalist, but I can hear it as plain as day in my head. Sharp and chrome. See. I don't know. And then it all kicks in again very suddenly, right? So a lot of dynamics in this song. And that second melody is so beautiful. Of the block. Of the block. I love that part so much. Of the block. Again, that ninth. Of the block. I'm the new king. I'll take a queen. I'm the new There's the break. Listen to the way he releases the note queen. Queen. Anemic. He enunciates the fuck out of these lyrics. It's so great. That is so here. That's like a twofer. You basically get to sing one tense note and then you get to sing the next tense note in the line in the chord and you kind of get to go here. You get both because they're so quickly after each other. Anemic and sweet. So I'm so distracted by the drums. They are so good. Okay, let's just listen to the drums for a second so I can like just let that go. Let's listen to the drums for this chorus. Love Abe so much. Like if the drums weren't that interesting, this chorus would not sound like this. Like, you know, it's he's got that same syncopation. But then that fill, you can hear him go, and he he ends. He does a fill twice, and then he has like a real simple one right before, and you, uh, so kiss me. And he does it differently each time. Like it's, they are, they often start the same, but he ends them differently. He's like just so original. So like. I missed the first fill, my bad. That's just one of my favorite parts of the song is the now kiss me's. So great. It always comes a little earlier than you expect because come get your knife, come get your knife and lay down. Come get your knife, come get your knife. Now come in or whatever. I got them probably confused. And then the third time, come get your knife, come get your knife. Now kiss me. 
So there's only three repetitions. And so it feels premature to end there. And I, just, I love that. I love that. The defiance of our expectations. Um, okay, so chords. So this is a G. Okay, so we get a, another flat two chord, which can sound very dark, but it can also sound very dramatic. And I would say here it kind of sounds dramatic. Come get your knife. Come get your knife. Listen to Chino's melody against that chord. He's not singing the chord tones again. He's singing against it. Probably sevenths, ninths, elevenths. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Come. That's the sharp four. Nine. Wait. Yeah. Like, I just love that that's what he came up with. That's just not the first thing that most people would come up with. <laughs> Interesting. So I had this experience listening to this where this chord where he goes, kiss me, sounded like home, but the other parts are clearly in G. I don't think they, I don't think they were thinking about the keys they were in or anything, but I do think it kind of changes key on us a little bit, but I love that feeling. So it's just That C chord is so nice at the end. And he's singing the ninth again. Now kiss me. So beautiful. I think I even hear the third. So sad. All right, and then. All right, so then we get the next part, and it's beautiful and amazing. But let's go check out this. So. <laughs> go get your knife. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> so this vocal solo. Girls singing. Right. Back to G minor. And then back to C. So this is vamping between G major and C. I'm sorry, G minor and C minor. Two minor chords. It's really beautiful sounding. So we have uh, over and over again. Also, her breath control here is astounding. That whole first thing she sings on one breath until she finally releases it with that crackle, that chino like crackle, is incredible. Okay, so. She's also singing the ninth. That chord is so pretty. What is that? Oh God, it's a ninth. <sighs> It's the ninth again. <laughs> ah, go get your ninth indeed. Ah. And she goes. 
Okay, so this part of her vocal range is really interesting. <sighs> I think that's falsetto. I don't think that's... I've learned a few things about voices, even though I'm not a singer, but I think falsetto is very a very breathy head voice. And the effects on this are amazing, right? So she goes all the way up here. Sorry. On that note, the guitars, I swear, right? The guitars come in and go with her, which I think is so great. Um, This is incredible to me. I'm pretty sure this is her whistle register, but the fact that she's hitting these notes so on dead on is amazing. I'm missing all the puns. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, that's... Which is very in the chord there. And then, uh, girl goes all the way up to this freaking note. What the hell is that? That's zero, C zero, one, two, three, four, five. C six? There's only one more C and it's C seven. And then the piano runs out of notes. Listen how high that is. My bad. C6 to a D6. And then back down to a G. So listen to that again. Uh, slides up. Uh, uh, and then... Up to the D. That's insane. Back to G. Okay. And this is cool because Chino's singing um, something from the earlier part of the song. He's singing, I could float here forever. Remember when he's going in here? I could float here forever and here we can't touch the floor or whatever. Um, but now it's singing now he's singing over different chords, so I could float here forever. And that's so pretty. I still don't know what this chord's called. It's a minor chord with a major sixth above it. And it's so so beautiful. Um Float here forever, anemic and sweet song, right? And then she starts screaming. <laughs> she is screaming in her whistle register. Uh, uh, this is incredible. On notes. That's the C and the D again. <laughs> Okay, that fill. Listen to this fill. I'm angry. It's so good. Listen to it. <laughs> he's going to go tsk, 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 and he's going between, I think, his snare and his uh, hi hat. I guess it's like this. But he goes tsk, tsk. okay, let's just listen.
great tone on that guitar. Oh, what a song. Oh, what a song. Okay, that's it for this video. Stay tuned for the next track on the album.